So this one's a little bit different. Tomorrow I'm moving all of my stuff into a new music studio. Because I don't have a lot of equipment myself, I am ordering most of it to the studio, but I do have some of my stuff that I am gonna take over. So I do need to pack up the PC and the monitor, and I'm taking my matriarch, as well as other stuff like my interface. And I've also got a couple of speakers in this suitcase. But yeah, other than that and a microphone, I don't really have anything else. The space doesn't even have a desk or a chair, so I've ordered that there. The room is treated though, which is one of the main benefits of it. I'm just gonna get some sleep, and then in the morning I'm moving over. So day one was definitely the most difficult. It was very intense, you know, I had to move all the stuff from my house to the studio, which luckily a friend helped out with. And also almost exactly the same time that we arrived at the studio, so did the desk and the chair and a couple of other things. I didn't really film too much from day one just because it was so intense, but we did manage to get most of the desk built uh, and then I finished it off the next day. As you can see, there was still a ton of mess in the studio. The second day the new speakers arrived, which I'm really happy with. I managed to get them on a deal. Uh, the Yamaha HS7s. And as you can see, although they're pretty big, they were quite easy to set up. The desk came with these kind of speaker panels on the sides. Um, so I just need to plug it in and I swivel them around and then it was set up. I tried them out just after filming this and they sounded amazing. You can see here, I've got my interface set up in one of the racks of the desk. Later on, I added an outlet extension unit yeah, also my cable management at the back isn't exactly the best. Day three was my birthday, so I didn't really do too much here, but I did set up the lights. My dad came and helped, which is really nice of him. Uh, and yeah, I was really, really happy with how the lights look. They cover the whole room. I put them around some of the acoustic boards, so that gives them a kind of nice glow. Uh, did the same thing with the door. There's not too much visibility, so I'll probably get a couple more lights to stick in there. They're just adhesive strips that come from the outlet at the back of the room. Day four, what I did was set up the rest of the stuff that I'd got delivered. So that was the mic stand and the keyboard stand. I also put in a drawer at the bottom left there. It's still really messy at this point, but it adds a bit more storage. The keyboard stand is a double layered one, but I don't have another keyboard at the moment, so I'm only using it for my matriarch, which I unpacked and set up. And yet again, I really love how the lights look in this room. You can see the cable management is only getting worse. And yeah, day five, that's the final day, that's today. The sofa arrived as well as a chest of drawers and a table. The sofa was definitely a two-man job. Uh, I managed to get it done somehow, but it was not easy. You can see here, I was struggling to get this plastic off. But yeah, after I got the plastic off, just needed to screw in the legs, flip it round, and then put in some screws, because it's also a sofa bed. You know, it just means I can crash here overnight if I need to. Again, definitely a two-man job. I was very relieved to get it done. Here you can see I'm putting in the screws to make it a double bed. Very happy when I got that done. That was not easy to balance it while putting in the screws. And yeah, I just wanted to make it look a bit better, make it more comfortable, so I added a throw. Uh, and some pillows. Some pillows came with it, but I also added a couple more. Uh, and yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks in the moment. I didn't film me making the chest of drawers just because it took way too long, but that's done. It's now in a different position, as you'll see towards the end of the video, but obviously it's just good for some extra storage. And yeah, the studio is really shaping up at this point. And then finally, just this mini table, kind of coffee table type thing. I've stuck it next to the sofa just so there's a space to use. It was really easy to get set up, to be honest, compared to the other stuff. Okay, so the studio's finally done. Uh, I've cleaned up the stuff, I've rearranged some things, and now I've got the lights on. So this is what the studio looks like. So as you come into the studio, we've got the sofa on the left and the table on the right. I think I'm gonna put a guitar and bass stand here because I've got an orange amp here and a guitar, which I need to restring. Then we've got a table here with a couple of layers to it. So that can be used for, you know, lots of different things. The sofa's pretty big, so it can fit two or three people on it. Then I've got a chest of drawers here. Uh, that's just gonna be like miscellaneous music stuff, cleaning stuff, whatever else. Obviously got a bin there as well. I've got another drawer behind it there. That obviously needs to be sorted. And then I've got a microphone here as an AT2020. I will just move this over to there when I need to use it for recording or for if an artist comes around and wants to record. I got my matriarch here, which has a MIDI cable coming out. So this is gonna double up as a MIDI keyboard for now. And obviously, you know, I can create synth patches on it. And then we've got the setup here with two HS7s. And then I've got my custom PC behind there. I need to clear out some of this stuff down here. But overall, I love how this spot looks. Um, it's a great setup for myself or if I want to invite anyone around. 
that being friends producers artists etc and yeah obviously i'm going to continue building it but i've definitely got the majority of what i want right now it looks good with the lights on right now but i really like it when i just turn the top lights off and then you see just like this so obviously it's slightly less visibility but the studio itself looks great at the moment but yeah this is where all my videos are going to be for the next six months or so at least um so yeah i'll catch you in the next one